Now that we've spent some time dealing with complex eigenvalues and complex eigenvectors, we can give a complete description of the eigenvalues and the characteristic equation of a 2 by 2 real matrix. Of course, to find the characteristic polynomial of a 2 by 2 matrix A, we must find the determinant of lambda i minus A, which looks like this. And the determinant of a 2 by 2 matrix is straightforward. Multiply along the main diagonal, and then subtract the product along the counter diagonal. That gives us lambda minus A times lambda minus D minus B times C, which is, if we combine like terms, lambda squared minus a plus d lambda plus a d minus b c. And these coefficients should look familiar. a plus d is the sum of the diagonal entries of a, and that's what we call the trace of the matrix. That's trace of a. And a d minus b c well, of course, that's the difference of the products along the diagonals, AD minus BC. That's the determinant of the matrix. And so we could rewrite this characteristic polynomial like this, lambda squared minus the trace of A times lambda plus the determinant of A. And of course, that gives us this quadratic characteristic equation. And we know a whole lot about quadratic equations. You should recall from algebra how the discriminant of a quadratic equation, b squared minus 4ac, indicates the nature of the roots of the equation. Recall that b squared minus 4ac is the part that appears underneath the square root in the quadratic formula, and that's what we call the discriminant. If b squared minus 4ac is positive, then the equation will have two distinct real roots, which should make sense, right? Because plus or minus, the square root of a positive number, that's going to give us two distinct real roots. On the other hand, if b squared minus 4ac equals 0, this plus or minus will not really have any effect because it will just be plus or minus 0, and so there will just be one repeated real root. But if b squared minus 4ac is negative, then we'll have two complex conjugate roots, because then we would have plus or minus the square root of a negative number, that's going to be an imaginary number, and so we're going to have two complex numbers that are conjugates of each other, because of the plus or minus, the imaginary part. And of course, the characteristic equation that we have for a general 2 by 2 matrix is no different. It's just another quadratic equation with real coefficients, and so we can analyze the discriminant in the same way. And this gives us the following theorem. For our 2 by 2 matrix, recall that the leading coefficient a is 1, b, the coefficient of the lambda term, is negative trace of a, and c, the constant term, is just the determinant of a. So then, if a is a 2 by 2 matrix with real entries, then the characteristic equation of a we know looks like this, and it will have two distinct real eigenvalues if the discriminant, which looks like that, is positive, it will have one repeated real eigenvalue if the discriminant is zero, and it will have two complex conjugate eigenvalues if the discriminant is negative. So the trace of a squared minus four times the determinant of the matrix will tell us about its eigenvalues. Let's do a few examples of using the characteristic equation we found above to find the eigenvalues. For this first matrix, the trace, the sum of the diagonal entries, is 3 plus 5, or 8. The determinant is 15 minus 3, so 12. Then we can plug those pieces into this equation. There's the trace, there's the determinant, and plugging those into the characteristic equation, we get this quadratic, which we can factor as lambda minus 6 times lambda minus 2. And so the two eigenvalues are positive 6 and positive 2 which is not a surprise because the trace of a squared in this case is 64, minus four times the determinant is minus 48, and 64 minus 48 is a positive number. So we would have expected to have two real roots, or in this case, two real eigenvalues. In this next example, the trace is the sum of the diagonal entries, four plus two, so six. The determinant is eight minus negative one, so 8 plus 1, so 9. 
Then we can plug those pieces into this equation and solve. That gives us this equation, and we can factor this as lambda minus 3 times lambda minus 3. So the only eigenvalue, which is repeated in this case, is positive 3, which is exactly what we would expect from the discriminant. The trace of a squared minus 4 times the determinant of a is 36 minus 4 times 9, that's 36 minus 36, so 0. So we would expect to have one repeated real eigenvalue. Now for the last example, the trace again is the sum of the diagonal entries, so 2 plus 2, which is 4, and the determinant will be 4 minus negative 36, so 40. Plugging these numbers into our characteristic equation, we get this quadratic, which you can pretty quickly tell is not going to be factorable. So we apply the quadratic formula, and we find that lambda equals 4 plus or minus, etc. Under the square root, we have 16 minus 160, which is negative 144. The square root of that is 12i, which then gets divided by 2, so that's why we have the plus or minus 6i. Of course, 4 divided by 2 is 2, so that's that. And so, as expected, we have two complex conjugate eigenvalues. We could have anticipated that from the determinant, which is negative 16 minus 160. That's negative, so yeah, we're going to have two complex conjugate eigenvalues. And again, the fact that they're conjugates comes directly just from the quadratic formula, plus or minus the imaginary part. So that's what you might call some cute stuff about the eigenvalues and characteristic equations of real 2x2 two two matrices. Let me know in the comments if you have any questions, and be sure to check out my linear algebra course and linear algebra exercises playlists in the description for more. Thanks for watching. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about. Mama. Stressed out, honey, I've been stressed out lately. Don't know what's what, don't know what I'm stressed about. Stressed out, sweetie, I'm stressed out. Sounds like you've been stressed out. Tell me what you're stressed about.